Hi guys, today we're looking at more fake tribes. This time we're looking at these guys, the Toromona. And of course, Toromona's 37. Toromona tribe, 66, 33 vowels and consonants. Okay, so the Toromona are an indigenous people of Bolivia. They are an uncontacted people living in near the upper Medidi and Heath Rivers of Northwest Bolivia. Bolivia's administration, Administrative Resolution 48 in 2006 issued on the 15th of August 2006 created an exclusive, reserved and invi inviolable portion of the Medidi National Park to protect the Toromona. Well, let's just have a look at that. Okay, first of all, uncontacted people is also uncontacted tribes. Same thing. Unconnected tribe 66 again. Okay, so Bolivia's admin resolution 48 is 55, which was issued 15th of August 2006, 37 triple seven. Um, in the Medidi National Park. Let's just pop down and have a look at the history. Uh, no non-natives have ever contacted this tribe. Okay, and it seems apparently that a father, Miguel Cavallo Balboa, wrote about a city of gold, and he described Paititi as a place protected by warrior women. He also mentioned the Toromona tribe with notes that it had no mercy in killing. And when we look at Miguel Cavallo Balboa, Sixty-six. Okay, now apparently Norwegian biologist Lars Hafskjold searched exclusively for the Toromona and became quite famous for his disappearance somewhere in the region of the Medidi Park in 1997. So when we look at Hafskjold, thirty-four-seven, and. His full name, 437. So again, what's known as the mind weapon number number seven. So the Toromona have occasionally been seen by other indigenous peoples in the region. In the 21st century, anthropologist Michael Brohan was informed by members of the Arab owner people that they had contacted a group in voluntary isolation on the eastern bank of the Manurini River who were speakers of the Toromona and some of the intelligible dialect. So as those that know the numbers pretty much know that Michael is uh, 22 and 33. And when you add Brohan, you get your 44, which I've also got a, a video on. So there's very little information on these. Um, again, just an idea presented. But we're just going to have a look a bit more on this guy, see if we can find a little bit more information. Okay, so I managed to find uh, this article. Um, we're just going to concentrate on a couple of things. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. Okay, so the Norwegian biologist Lars was lost within a Bolivian and explored territory while he followed an expedition trail with his two native assistants from San Fermin towards Rio, Colorado. This happened in 1997. When his two assistants returned to San Fermin later on, he continued on the trail himself from that day onwards, Lars is considered as a missing person. So basically, they're inferring that once they left him, these alleged uh, Toromona tribe nabbed him. Okay, so let's just have a look at a few of the details in this first paragraph. San Fermin, 34 7. It's also 45 9, which means something. Not quite understood that one yet. And if we do Rio Colorado, you get your 44, which I've got a video on. And just one last thing, if we scroll all the way down. All the way.
we get to this bit. The Norwegian biologist Lars was born in Norway on the 6th of September 1960. And if we look at September 6th, we get you 44 again. Okay, just a quick one today. But um, you can read through this if you choose, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's pretty dull. So there you go. I'll be doing more in the future. Just a quick one to show the lies that we're told in this world. Thanks for watching.